Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today I'm going to show you a hoop house help. <laughs> I like to say that. Hoop house help. The three H's. And this is basically a coupling from inch pipe. And we're going to make the clamp that holds the tarp on there. And let me show you how to do that. And we'll install one just to show you how it's done. It's so simple and it's virtually free. So maybe you're building your first hoop house and you're figuring, you know, how to how do I get the tarp on there? How do I put the tarp you know, clamp it onto these pipes. Well, it's really simple and these are virtually free. You can make your own clamps and they work so good. And basically I'll show you how to do that. What we're going to do today is install uh, some screening, um, some shade screening, because remember I'm here in Florida and it does get hot here. It gets very hot. So we need to have some shade. And then of course it does freeze again, you know, in January, February, not very often, but if you want to protect the plants here, you need to cover them. Let's take a look. This is a really great way to make a clamp for your hoop house tarp. And this is basically a coupling and you can see it'll snap right on here. And it will hold that tarp in place. What a great coupling idea. Uh, be able to do this it's really cheap and it's ac actually free if you've bought a whole bunch of this pipe to make your hoop you could just take your pipe cutters and cut this off Oops. <laughs> and then we'll still just use the pipe cutters we're going to cut it in half This is a little bit tight, so we got to wiggle it off of there. And then we're just going to cut it the rest of the way. Pull it off. So now, if you think of this as a clock, this would be 6 o'clock. Let's rotate that to 7 o'clock. And we'll come over here to 5 o'clock, and we'll make another cut. Remember that this was the end of a pipe, so it's really just free material. Finish the cut. You actually could use tin snips to cut that. They, they work pretty good too. So now we have, this one's going to be a little bit tight. I think I missed it, but we can still, whoops. But we can still get it on here. Nice. And that is really, I mean, you can twist it, but... Once there's material under here, that's not going to budge. And I've done the whole hoop house like this with these clamps. So it's a good little hack, I guess. I hate to use that word hack, but, <laughs> but it's a good way to make clamps for free. You can also use a store-bought fitting. You can see this has a little ridge inside of it. That's how you know it's a store-bought fitting. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to use our pipe cutters and it's braced. It's a little bit tougher to squeeze because it's a little thicker. Pop it loose. Remember, this is a tight fit, so we just got to wiggle that off of there. Got that. And again, you could use the pipe cutters or you can just use tin snips, either one. So now we have a coupling split in half. Same thing. So again, same thing. Think of this as a clock. We've got 6 o'clock here. Let's rotate it all the way around to about 3 o'clock. We'll use our pipe cutters. You can see where I'm at. Same thing. We're just going to cut it in half. Again, it is tight onto the pipe cutter but just wiggle it off. Then your tin snips. And we've got a really nice clamp, same thing. You can hear how tight that goes on, it's really tight. And you could always adjust this, make it a little bit wider, but don't make it too wide because it'll pop off of there. This is perfect for holding that tarp down onto your hoop and you can do it with any size this is inch and a half you could use an inch and it does the same thing 
this is one inch, you could use three quarter, whatever size your hoop house is, what a great coupling. So you can see I'm putting the screen on here and there's my, my hoop, my one inch pipe, and here's my coupling. And it is tight fit, you really gotta push it, but it will go on there and it's so strong. Look at that. That is just so strong. I couldn't possibly pull this off of here. It's basically impossible. So next we're gonna go ahead and trim this back, you know, all the way around it. You can see I've already done some other clamps here. We're gonna clamp that, trim it all off, and make it look nice and tidy. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Okay, so there's our yucca tree cleanup and it came out really nice. What we're gonna do next is go ahead and open up this root ball and repot this thing completely. It's got tons of good roots and you can see a really healthy stock. Let's save this yucca.